Graphing quadratic functions in general form. A quadratic function in general form is one that's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. We can use the same steps that we use in graphing a quadratic equation that's in standard form, but in order to find the vertex, we must use negative b over 2a, which will give us the h coordinate of the vertex. And when we find h, if we plug it into the function for x, that will give us the k coordinate of our vertex. Let's look at this example. f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. To determine what direction it opens, we look at the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is a positive 1, so that tells us that our function opens up. Now we need to determine the vertex of the parabola. So as I said, we use negative to find h, we use negative b divided by 2a. Well, in this function, our b is negative 2. So we would get negative, negative 2, divided by 2 times a, which is 1. All right, so that gives me a negative, negative 2, which is 2, divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. And that would be 1 for my h coordinate in my vertex. To find k, I take that, my h, and plug it into the function where x is. So my k is going to be, I plug in one, the 1 that I get for my h, squared minus 2 times 1, minus 3. And when I simplify that, 1 squared is 1, 2 times, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, minus 3. So k is negative 4. So my vertex is at 1, negative 4. To find my x-intercepts, I can plug in 0 for y and solve for x. Well, my y is f of x, so I'm going to plug in 0 there. And then I have to solve the other side of the equation. Well, since this is a quadratic, I have to use one of the methods for solving quadratic equations. And the easiest method is to factor. So I want to factor my quadratic equation. The factors of 3 that would add or subtract to give me 2 are 3 and 1. Those are the only factors of 3. My signs are different, and my biggest product is negative. So this, if I double check this, this would give me a negative 3x, <clears throat> and this is a positive 1x, which would combine to give me a negative 2x, which is that middle term, and so I know that this is factorable and I factored it correctly. Since this was factorable and I factored <clears throat> this quadratic equation, I take these two factors and set them equal to zero and solve. So x minus three equals zero and x plus one equals zero. So if I add 3 to both sides, I get x equals 3. And if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x equals negative 1. So my x-intercepts are at 3, 0 and negative 1, 0. And then my y-intercept, I find my y-intercept by plugging in 0 for x. So if I plug in 0 for x in both spots... I get y is equal to, all of that turns to 0, all that's left is negative 3. So my y-intercept is 0, negative 3. 
Okay, let me plot the points that I have. My vertex is at 1, negative 4. My y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. And my x-intercepts are at 2, 3, and negative 1. Well, remember that the parabola is symmetric. So since I have that y-intercept at 0, negative 3, I can also plot another point um, the same distance away from that imaginary axis of symmetry. And that gives me five points to be able to graph my parabola. Let's look at this example. First, we determine what direction it opens. Well, since I have a negative in front of my x squared, that means my a is negative, and that tells me that my parabola opens down. Now I want to find the vertex, and the vertex is found by negative, my h is found by negative b divided by 2a. My b in this equation is 4, so I have a negative 4 divided by 2 times a is negative 1. So that gives me negative 4 over negative 2, which would be a positive 2 for my h coordinate of my vertex. Now to find k, I take 2 and I plug it into the function. So k would be negative, and I plug in 2, squared, plus 4 times 2, plus 1. All right, so that would give me a negative. The, the, the negative is not being squared, only the 2. So that's a negative 4 plus 8 plus 4, um, plus 1, <laughs> sorry. All right, negative 4 plus 8 is positive 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So my k is 5, and that gives me a vertex of 2, 5. Okay, to find my x-intercepts, if I plug in 0 for y and solve for x, when I look at this function, I can tell that it's not factorable because there are no, um, there's no products of 1 that will add or subtract to give me 4. So I know that it can't be factored. Well, there are other methods for solving a quadratic equation. I could use the quadratic formula, but I know that since it's not factorable, I'm not going to get pretty numbers which means I would get something like the square root of some number, and I won't be able to graph that. So finding my x-intercepts are not going to help me in graphing this quadratic equation. Let's see about the y-intercepts, or the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, I plug in 0 for x. In both spots. So that gives me y is equal to zero, negative 0 squared is 0, plus 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 1. So I just get 1. So my y-intercept is 0, 1. Okay, let me graph what I have. My vertex is at 2, 5. And then I have a y-intercept at 0, 1. Again, I know that I can plot a point the same distance away from that imaginary axis of symmetry, so I would have a point here. And then I need two more points to be able to graph my parabola. So the easiest points or the best points to pick would be in between the vertex and those points that I have. So if I picked an x value at either 1 or at 3, that would be in between the vertex and those other two points, that would be a good um, coordinate to pick. Uh, to, or a good x value to pick to plug into my function. So, like I said, 1 or 3, well, I would pick the smaller number. I would pick 1. And if I plug 1 into the function, I get y is equal to negative, I'm plugging in 1 for x, and that gives me a negative 1 plus 4 plus 1, all right, which is 4.
So I plugged in one for X and I got out four for Y. So that gives me a point that I can plot, one, four. And again, I can have another point the same distance away from the axis of symmetry. And I connect my points and that's my parabola. For the maximum and minimums that occur in a quadratic function, if we look at a quadratic function, if a is greater than zero, then a minimum occurs at x is equal to negative b over 2a, and this minimum value is at f of negative b over 2a. So if you think about that, it says if x, if a is greater than zero, so we know that if a is greater than zero, if a is positive, then our parabola is going to look like this. It's going to open up. So we know we're going to have a minimum value. Number two says if a is less than zero, okay, so we know that if a is less than zero, we're going to have a parabola that opens down. If that's the case, we're going to have a maximum value. All right, so a maximum value occurs. These notes are incorrect. It says this minimum value is at f of negative b over 2a. So that should say this maximum value is at f of negative b over 2a. So um, in each case, the value of x gives us the location of the minimum or the maximum value. So here's an equation, and it says determine if the function has a minimum or a maximum value. Well, our a is 4. It's positive. So that means we know that it's going to open up. So if our parabola opens up, we're going to have a minimum value. Then it says find the maximum or the minimum and where it occurs. What the whatever our h is in our vertex that's where it occurs and the k is the maximum or minimum value so let's determine where it occurs first and remember we find h by doing negative b over 2a my b in this equation is negative 16 so i have a negative negative 16 over 2 times a, which is 4. Okay, so a negative negative 16 would be 16, and 2 times 4 is 8, which gives me 2. So my minimum value occurs at 2, and the minimum value is whatever f of 2 is. So that just means I take 2 and I plug it into the function, And solve it. Okay, so I get 4 times 4 minus 32 plus 1,000. So that would be 16 minus 32 plus 1,000, which would be 984. So the minimum value is 984. Then it says determine the domain and the range. Well, since this is a parabola, whether our parabola opens up or if it opens down, our domain is going to be from negative infinity, so it's going to the left, this, this is eventually going to the left and going to the right, so it's going to go from negative to positive infinity, whether it's opening up or if it's opening down. It's going to, it goes farther and farther to the left, farther and farther to the right, um, towards infinity. So, any quadratic equation, the domain is going to be from negative to positive infinity. 
So my domain is from negative to positive infinity. And my range, well, we know that this parabola opens up. So if my minimum is at uh, 984 and it goes up, it opens up, that means that my range starts at... 984 and it's included and if it goes it it opens up then it's going to positive infinity